In this video, I'm going to show you how to mix a value scale effectively and fast. So I'm going to be using an ivory black and a titanium white for this demonstration. What I like to do is lay out a fair amount of black and white on my palette and give myself ample space for mixing in between. Now a lot of artists would say you should mix the middle value. We're going to do a traditional nine step value scale. So if you were to break it down kind of in a compartmentalized way, if you mix the value five, then you can mix the value three between the value one and five. You can mix the value seven between one and nine, and then you just have little steps that sort of tear down towards black and white. So it's a very structured way to do it. But what I've noticed is especially for newer artists, that can often be very confusing because it's very hard for an artist getting started to know what a value five looks like. Now, the way I like doing this is I like doing proportional mixing, meaning I'm going to mix equal parts white and black to get uh, a gray. This will not be a value five, it's gonna be darker. So I'm gonna mix equal parts black and gray, equal parts black and white rather. And we can see that this does not lean towards white. It actually leans more towards black. It's going to be somewhere over here. I'm going to do the same thing again, but I'm going to start with gray. So I'll do equal parts gray and white. That's looking closer to a middle gray. We'll do it again. Equal parts gray and white. And then I'm gonna mix just a little bit of gray with a fair amount of white over here. So now what I'm looking at is I'm starting to sort of flesh out the bottom half of the value scale. I'm gonna kind of squint at it, but I'm just sort of gauging these stages. I'm gonna do the same thing over here equal parts black and gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's a step to be had. So, so this has been pretty mindless mixing and we can see that we're already getting a fairly good progression happening here. But I think if I was to kind of name things, there's either a step here, a step here, or a step here. I only have to add two more. So I'm going to have to choose which one of those is really the most appropriate place. And I'm guessing that I can probably drag these values up towards black a little bit more. And I'm just taking the residual value from the previous step and mixing it into that next pile. And I think there's space right here. And if I had to guess, I think there's space right here. Nine step value scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. bring this one down a touch more. The benefit of that proportional mixing is that I don't have to think about what's correct while I'm mixing it. I can just let the process of finding equal size paint piles get me going. And after doing that three or four times, I'm already at five, six values, something like that. So there are a couple of gaps that the actual assessment of the value steps and the actual gap finding of the value steps can just happen later on. But if I just generally speaking know that equal parts white and black is gonna give me something like a value three, maybe a value four with black being a one, 
then if I was to add white to that gray, I'm probably gonna get somewhere in the realm of like a value five, value six. If I add white to that gray in equal parts, I'll probably get something close to a seven or an eight. And so I've already got a pretty solid roadmap of how to get this going fast. So after you get your values laid out this way, the next thing you'd really need to do is either start your painting or make your value scale. 